Time for another Metal World Order review and today I want to take another trip back to the Japanese metal scene and on this channel I've done a few Concerto Moon reviews and them being a power slash neoclassical style metal band I figured I would jump into the heavy slash speed metal scene with the band Crowley. Now this is another band that Painkiller over at Forces of Steel introduced me to and also he has his own metal forum dedicated to Japanese metal known as the Japanese Metal Forum. So who is Crowley? They are a band from Nagoya Achi Prefecture Japan. They were formed in 1982 and they had a run until 1989 before disbanding and then in 2014 reformed. They are known for their occult, horror, and black magic themes and they started performing in 1983 during the mid 80s. It was dubbed the golden age of Japanese metal and they gained quite a popular following. In 1987 they continued their popularity and even started getting global recognition through the metal magazines in Europe and the United States which led to a tour offer from overseas promoters. In the 80s they they were noted for being one of the first Japanese metal bands to pioneer the use of makeup, costumes, pyro, and stage presence. Sadly, it lacked any contracts with a major label. Crowley is one of the bands that had a direct impact on paving the way for future Japanese visual rock and metal bands. In today's review, I want to talk about their first full-length album, Whisper of the Evil, released in 1986. Before this was released, they did have a demo in 1984, a split with three other bands, Tilt, Lachelle, and Lemura, and an EP in 1985 titled The Scream of Death. Whisper of the Evil was released through Electric Ladyland Records and saw a release on June 29, 1986. It features six songs and a badass looking album cover. The lineup features, and yes I'm going to butcher these names I'm pretty sure, Takashi Owai on vocals, Yoshinori Kokune on guitars, who sadly passed away in 2019, Noriyuki Kiro Yangi on bass, and Mitsuhiro Shiga on drums. The tracks are Stalker, Badstone, Night Angel, Pretender, Woman in a Black Cape, and Floating Man. The album clocks in at 29 minutes and 17 seconds, and most of the tracks are around the 4 to 5 minutes length, with one of them being in the 8 minute range. So it's an album that you can quickly go through and, I would say, play over and over and over again. Now before I go any further, the lyrics are in Japanese. Hard for me to understand what is being said, and you can't find any lyrics online. Or maybe I wasn't looking hard enough, but I did search around. So I can't really tell you what is being said, as in some reviews I like to point certain lyrics out in a song and so on, but the lyrical themes of Crowley, like I mentioned earlier, are occult, evil, humorous evil, and Satanism. So right out of the gate, let's talk about the first track of this album, Stalker. You get a nice opening riff, a little bit of speed in the riff, nice opening with the drums and everything, and then the song kind of gets into this nice groove. It, when the vocals from Takashi come in, and his vocal style are not falsetto, but that clean style with some higher range thrown in. Now, I'm not going to say there isn't some falsetto in there, here and there, but it's not something like, let's say, King Diamond or anything that goes throughout. At least it's not that high. It's really fucking well done and I really like his vocal style. Not only that, it fits the tone of, let's say, this song right here really well. The production of the whole album is very well done too. It doesn't sound like dog shit or anything. So throughout not just this song, you get a great sound. Next track I want to talk about is the second track, Bad Stone. This time you get a little bit of a change up, nice opening riff once again, drums come in, has a nice beat to it. One thing I like to point out in my album reviews is the drum work. And Shiga's drum work is fucking fantastic on this whole album. Vocal style slightly changes a bit as I felt in Stalker it was a little bit more higher, but once again, great stuff. Even with a solo missing, and that's kind of odd, I figured there would have been a guitar solo in this song, it still fucking kicks ass.
seems like I'm going in order here, but fuck it, why not? Night Angel, track three on this album. A bit of a similar opening riff as in the last track, and you know I kind of compare that riff to another band. It's very similar to something Accept would do. And at times I almost hear some similarities to Accept, which is nothing wrong with that at all. Night Angel has a great fucking flow of sound in it, and once again, guitar work, drum work, and vocals are on point. One thing I do really like about this song, though, is the guitar solo. It's by far one of my favorite guitar solos on this whole album. Last track I want to talk about, the longest song on this album, Woman in a Black Cape. This time, things change up a bit. This song takes a slower turn. You get a very nice opening riff, slower, same with the drum work, almost has a little bit of a doomy vibe to it, which is really badass. The guitar tone is what really gives that doom metal vibe off. Then you get Takashi's vocals and he nails it right in the beginning, hitting higher notes, something you will hear a lot in the song too. Another kick-ass guitar solo, flows very well, sounds fucking great. Yoshinori definitely knows how to fucking kill it on these solos throughout this whole album. And definitely with this one and Night Angel, he fucking rips it. I also like how the song picks up near the end too, you get a little bit of everything in this track. Whisper of the Evil is a fucking badass album by Crowley. Not one bad track on here, and you know what? I could have talked about all of them, but I just wanted to keep it at four. Only six songs, but it's six fucking great songs. And the music when it comes to the guitar work and drumming is awesome. The vocals are kick-ass. The production is very well done. Definitely an album to check out if you have never listened to Crowley. This is a band that I wish had more work out there, but they did release a few albums after this, but it was many, many years later. Obviously, like I mentioned in the beginning, they disbanded in 1989 and reformed in 2014. They released the album Nocturne in 2017 and last year in 2020, they released Evil Bride, two albums I will definitely need to check out. I hope you enjoyed this review of Whisper of the Evil by Crowley. Go check this album out. Thank you for watching. <laughs>